thanks for coming out and uh, taking a look at our new uh, improved snowball. We've made a few changes on it uh, from our prior model. We see the snowball as an alternative to a snowblower for certain applications. In many situations, the snow is more wet and or compact. This type of snow has a tendency to clog up a traditional snowblower's auger and chute. The snowball is not intended to clear large areas that might be best for a truck mount apply. Instead, the snowball is ideal for clearing sidewalks, pathways, driveways, ramps, bridges, and other areas that are too narrow to clear with large snow removal equipment. Next I'd like to point out is uh, we have two levers here. Uh, these control the height of the blade and it also locks the blade to whatever height you'd like to have it at. For skimming gravel surfaces, lock the blade slightly above the ground level or if desired, simply keep the blade unlocked for uneven terrain which will allow the blade to freely flow. The Snowball's transmission is equipped with two forward speeds and one reverse speed. In most cases, you will use second gear. However, in certain conditions, first gear might be more optimal. To adjust the handlebars, there's a handlebar adjustment lever located on the right side of the handlebars. Turn the lever a few times to loosen the clamp, move the handlebars to the desired position, and then retighten the clamp. The handlebars can then be repositioned forward for storage or for transport. To get the snowball to move forward or to reverse, simply press the lever on the left handlebar. To stop the snowball, simply release the lever. To plow snow to either side, the snowball is equipped with a plow angle adjustment lever. I can change the angle of my blade from 30 degrees to 15 to zero. And that can be done on either side. Should it be necessary if you're doing a, a long stretch and you want to take off one of the sides, dependent, you can just undo these finger nuts. And can, we can simply remove the side shields.